Hello everyone, welcome to Sun Innovative YouTube channel and today's topic is understanding the electrical brake for the electrical drives. So to understand this, let us take one wheel for movement and one mechanical shaft and electrical motor and one power supply battery and this all are required to assemble one electrical plus mechanical system which is shown in figure tire is connected with the shaft and shaft is again connected with the electrical motor and the connected to battery again and case one when the battery power is connected so it will going to power the motor and it will be rotate the tire through the coupling which is connected to the shaft of motor and the tire now power flow will rotate in anti-clockwise direction which is shown so total assembly is installed in a one vehicle and this assembly is carrying a on load that is a kg1 t1 and car have passenger load t2 and car has moving energy or kinetic energy t3 so total energy is generated t1 plus t2 plus t3 in a motoring mode so now effective energy stored in a vehicle during running it can be calculated by this way so this is the assembling system so whatever energy stored due to the own load and the acceleration energy which we have discussed in period so it will be going to generate the additional energy through the motor that is called electrical acceleration so that energy is going to added so it will be called e total energy <coughs> so now source is disconnected when the power supply is connected so energy was stored e now it is disconnected it means mechanical clutch is applied so the energy is produced reversely so it will be act as a generator so you can see in figure will motor will work as a generator and electrical power is generated through the motor so still is armature running because the energy returned back toward to the motor during the e energy stored in a previous motoring mode so now what is freewheeling so this is the case in a previous that motor was rotated due to the own load and the motor is act as a generator due to the reverse power flow through the weight so car having the own energy plus passenger gravity that is called freewheeling now coming to next topic why motor is stopped so this is again the assembly that it was connected with the motor so when it is disconnected whatever back emf is generated through the armature it is connected to the battery so power is reversed to the battery and reduction in back emf will going to stop the motor so equation is written there end speed is equal to vt terminal voltage minus armature current multiplied by armature resistance so battery it is in charging mode so terminal voltage will consider as a zero voltage so increasing in resistance offered by the battery that will be stop going to stop the motor so sometimes this power is also fed to the field winding and this is why the energy stop the motor now next is dynamic braking for separately excited so figure is shown there you can see in right hand corner now this circuit is connected the battery field winding voltage as circuit shown now powering the circuit so it will going to rotate as we know that powering the motor will going to rotate the tire now the armature is connected with the resistance positive and the negative terminals so armature current will going to flow through the resistance it is called braking resistance and this current is depend upon the value of resistance which is connected through the armature so current passing through the resistance through the energy stored in previous case so this way the energy is becomes zero so it going to stop the motor in this method the disadvantage is the when resistance is connected and current passing it will create the heat loss and loss is equal to heat loss plus i square r losses into the armature next is plugging braking for separately excited dc motor so figure is again shown there this is theory go, 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 go. 
so again for that according to circuit field winding and armature winding voltage is connected now powering this so this is going to rotate by this way and uh, this is only one mode that is called motoring mode and to stop this motor we need to reverse the armature winding voltage so that you can see that the connection is reversed so that your motor can stop and red mark is shows the reverse connection of voltage supply in the circuit also so this way the braking motor is happened because of reverse connection in the armature winding so this is the applications of regenerative power and you can use the that power into the battery electrical cranes hoist motor traction system lift and many more application is required regenerative power to store somewhere else now this is the comparison of electrical braking finally regenerative braking dynamic and the plugging braking this is the advantage of all brakings and we can see that the advantage and disadvantages are available according to the different type of methods so from this advantage and disadvantage we have concluded that regenerative braking it is somehow slow method we can see because it is a momentary purpose we cannot get continuous value and dynamic is time variable due to the resistance and plugging braking it is a fast braking because the direct voltage is reversed to the circuit thank you everyone Please like and share this video.